we review class. What I have talked, what I have not talked. Very interesting. Something will ask why it is we can dot dot. Will ask the question as well. What is the question? Okay, the question is say this is the sigma and this is the alpha. Okay, now we can it can be zero bar. It can be two. It can be unary also. It doesn't mean it has to be binary. But for all our practical purpose, we found it. That particular say zero bar is the most favorable bar, but sometimes it can be. And what is sigma star? Sigma star is all combinations in A and B. So what could be size? Definitely it's a not finite. More because actually I don't say it is finite length. If I say finite length, say take hundred. So then definitely more. Okay, like this. Now this is all type of language. Whatever type G, type two, or type one. These are basically subset. Subset of this language. Any language is a subset. So I got it means many more languages. And till now we have what we have done. This is first A to the B language. This is type three grammar. Then the language you all know. Some of the finest machine developed in 1949, 50, and Noam Chomsky comes with the grammar in 1957. So this is type three grammar. You know the rules will be like this. Uh, like this is S two, uh, S two, say S three or S seven. Like this. These are the rules of the variables uh, to be made. Then the comes Poisson automata. This Poisson automata to be deterministic Poisson automata. That means you can know when to push, when to pull. But some cases like this, there is non-deterministic Poisson automata. Like this. No such relationship will be different. A deterministic Poisson automata complement a deterministic Poisson automata language, like complement of type two language of deterministic Poisson is deterministic. But we cannot be saying it's contrast with that. This, so this is the finitistic machine and vector grammar. This is Poisson automata, Poisson automata two times deterministic Poisson automata, which can be realizable, and that is the. Type two grammar and another is type two grammar that is non-deterministic and we generally do not touch that grammar because that grammar is definitely difficult to realize and parse. All our programming languages are ninety-nine percent deterministic Poisson automata, deterministic complex grammar with unambiguous grammar. Okay, but why we are learning more because they are there they are learning. But we do not make a program out of it. Though this kind of language are there, like type one, type zero, the language are there, but we do not program to it. They are not there there. And one interesting thing you can see: these particular languages are equivalent to prop problem. In the automata class, you probably come to know there are two kinds of infinity: countable infinity and uncountable infinity. Here. The sigma star is fully recognized in the language, which is super side, or other name is regular letters in the enumerable language, R E, all are enumerable. So every Turing problem, Turing machine, you can number it one, two, three, four, six. You know, that is not uncountably infinite. You know what is countably infinite? Countably infinite is like this. Countably infinite like this one. So, so you can go. That is countably infinite. Countably infinite. Whatever infinite it is, it is countable. But another type of uncountably infinite is there that we all know. Uncountably infinite. Then all real numbers between one and two. All real numbers.
This means f of x finite value is if can be decided by the commutative real side. Like all of switch and all. You do not need a sequential side. And when the left is this, it's an infinite magnet, more interesting. And this f of means finite magnet. Good question, this f of means finite magnet, which can be done by commutative real side. All this machine, this DK, can always go to the right hand. Right. Only cooling machine, it can go left and right. That's it. It can go only right. Reheaded, it goes up to the edge of it. But cooling machine, it can go read and right and it can travel those directions. Yes, uh, this is basic cooling machine. In the previous classes, we have come to the single track and the multi track, and we have proven that is nothing but it can be combined in the single track. And this is multi head, that is two head, but one finite state machine. This is one finite state machine with four tracks. Two tracks I have shown, four tracks and three tracks. And here I have shown two tracks with two impact head and non determinism. That I have not shown. But that is, you have to believe that. Any non determinism moves. What is non determinism move? The, this, this portion after the transition is going to right, say, like what is the non determinism move? Say, any particular, say, if I am stating Q and it is reading AA, then it goes to P, it writes A prime and it goes to L or Q. A go to P prime, P prime, say P prime, say, say try anything, P prime, go to R. So, non determinism, non determinism, non deterministic cooling machine means it can go A, it can write A prime, it can go R, it can be P prime, any of any other option. But it can be shown with any option, ultimately it doesn't add. Of like non deterministic finite state machine, it doesn't add any, any language to understand. So, non deterministic doesn't is non deterministic here, same, same power, all are same. So, basic cooling machine and non deterministic cooling machine, same, non deterministic cooling machine, is same. That I have to show that I have to believe. That why, what I say that non deterministic crucial operator has no power. Because it can double double work, it can. Okay? Agreed? Okay.